Prentice, I see you've touched down on Alderaan, Jason Wilson's home planet where Norman Carr found her. Excellent. You will discover everything you can about this Padawan and destroy everyone she loves there. It is a certainty. I hope your results will confirm your confidence. Unfortunately, with the civil war for the Alderanian throne raging, your contact, Duke Kendo of House Thule, has become unreliable. Kendo was supposed to find Jaser Wilson's family for you, but it seems he's distracted. You must undistract him. Why don't I just kill him? No doubt someday the man's usefulness will be exhausted. But today is not that day. Kendo is a political creature. The consequences of failing me are abstract for him. Once they are made concrete, he'll cooperate. You'll find him in the House Thule Executive Chambers. Make haste. Greetings, my lord. I bring the good wishes of Moff Sarek, the officer entrusted with annexing this planet. He has been anticipating your arrival. Bring me up to speed. I would not presume to answer that. The Moff can explain to you himself. A good day, my lord. It will well serve the aims of the Empire to have so accomplished a Sith on this planet. I expect to care little for the niceties of politics here, so I will be brief. The Empire intends to use Alderaan's succession struggle to bring it into the fold. And I'm offering you the opportunity to play a pivotal role. I'll need details before I put my neck on the line. The heir to Alderaan's throne was recently assassinated, right after withdrawing from the protection of the Republic. The planet's in civil war, and for the first time in thousands of years, without the armies of the Republic to bring order. Well, that's a long time. Has the Republic really given them up? The Republic has its proxies here, as we have ours. We have allied ourselves with House Thal. The House was exiled 60 years ago after a failed bid for power, and came to us instead. Unfortunately, they have proven too weak to do what's needed. Do they need the fear of the Emperor put into them? Yes. Jorad, one of the Thal Lords, insists on following Alderaan's rules of civilized warfare. I want you to show him warfare is far from civil. Several of Thal's vassal houses have rebelled since Thal's connection to us became public. This cannot be allowed. Take a slave collar from my man here and drag one of these rebels to our weak-willed Lord Thal. Kill the rest and leave them where they fall. These Alderaan lordlings will beg to serve the Empire. These lords of Alderaan must lose their foolish pride. Those who will not bow must break. What is... who... Uh, Crimar? Is that Crimar Noven? That's a free nobleman of Alderaan. Unhand him. Who are you? What, what's this about? <gasps> if you are to join the Empire, you should take more care to recognize those in power. Uh, my, my lord. All of Alderaan will be thrown into chains because of you. Silence, slave. The sooner you see reason, the easier it will be. I, I've said before that being too harsh might stir greater rebellion. Though, of course, that's, that's up to you. I believe that is up to me. Sir. This spineless toad will make a poor lord of Alderaan. Yes. It will take work to shape him. I hope you will undertake this for me. I would like to make you the voice of the Empire in House Thule. Aid Jorad and his men in crushing resistance to our rule. 
Obey him as if it were me, and with the same penalty for defiance. Tell him what you need, and he will ensure Thull's hold on Alderaan. Yes, sir. Sir. Penalty for defiance. I like the sound of that. I suppose the Moff expects us to take on House Organa. They're one of our oldest noble houses and loyal to the Republic. Until recently, they've been without an army, but they've got supporters all over the planet, uh, including here. You'll never find them. They've got top of the line cloaking better than anything the Empire makes. No probes will get through, no spy sats, nothing. You are an imbecile. House Organa denied raising an army, claiming it's just patriots defending their lands. But their attacks are too organized. We'll never find every group. We need to get inside their planet-wide communications. And that means finding a base with a physical link to slice into. Just tell me where to go. The Organa guerrillas have a base hidden in some cave or other natural camouflage. There should be a master comlink there, guarded by their best soldiers. If you insert this computer spike, it'll give us a back door into all their communications. Once we can hear them, there's nowhere on this world they'll be safe. House Organa will not make another move without us knowing. You lack patience, Duke Kendo. There are standard procedures that must be adhered to. Your disregard for our family rules is appalling. You are an abomination. Goodbye, cousin. Fools. They won't be feeling much of anything for long. Duke Kendo, Darth Barris sent me. What? You're not on my schedule. I don't appreciate being interrupted. Barras isn't even on my radar, Sith. I have a war to wage and personal ambitions to achieve here. I'm here to adjust your radar. A threat? You see these Sith I have attending me? Your corpse will be my message to your master. Femres, make this intruder a distant memory, will you? I'm sorry, Duke Kendo. We are assigned to protect you and support your interests in the struggle for Alderaan. But we serve the Emperor first, and we will not cross Darth Barras, or his apprentice. It's good to know some people have respect. We consider you an ally, friend. Uh -oh. Okay. That was... unexpected? It seems I may have been hasty regarding your master's needs. How can I make amends? You can start by bowing to me, too. Of course. Consider it a small demonstration of my... repentance. I pledge the same level of focus that had me so absorbed in my own work. I pledge myself to your directives, and as I aid you, perhaps you'll be moved to help me in mine. Unless your directives involve your suicide, I won't be participating. Point taken. I hope time will improve our relations. As I recall, Darth Barris wanted information on a young Alderanian girl who was taken off planet to train with Jedi Master Noman Kar. I was to locate her family so that you could well. Send the girl a message. For your sake, I hope you were successful. The truth is, information about this girl is difficult to come by. I managed only one lead. Noman Carr's Padawan fits the description of the former handmaiden of a noblewoman in House Alder named Lady Renata. I've questioned her already. But Renata is protected by House Alder's greatest champion. The man has never met his match in melee. He's never met me. If I may, once you've eliminated her protector and gotten what you need, 
I would personally be very indebted if you'd arrange to have Lady Renata brought to us for questioning. Don't tell me what to do. I apologize if that sounded like a declaration. It was simply a request. While House Alder is a small player on Alderaan, it is affiliated with House Organa. Therefore, Lady Renata's estate is in hostile territory and very well defended. Be cautious. Caution is for worms like you. I won't argue with you there. I do hope to see you soon. Until then... Imagine leaving your home for a sojourn into the galaxy. When you return, you find the manor infested. The wood is rotten and wriggling. Beetles carpet floors you raced across as a child, and maggots drop entangled clumps onto your head. With due respect, my lord, this is what House Thule faces, an infestation of vermin. Get your hands dirty and fight your own battles. You can squash one, but not a million. The Killix are Alderaan's native insectoid population. Man-sized, barely intelligent. It's the nobility's duty to contain the swarms underground. Unchecked, they are ravaging this planet, turning palaces into hives and cocooning the survivors. Generations caught in the mandibles of beasts. You said they're native to this world. They were here first? Legend has it Killix once ruled the planet. Supposedly most flew to the stars, but how many remained in hibernation? House Organa has been neglecting their responsibilities against the vermin, but even they carry defenses against Killick hunting parties. If you could seize the Organa toxins and poison the Killick hives, well, the Killicks will swarm, and the other houses must defend themselves and do their part. That seems a wise idea. We will all war against the Killicks. And Thule will save this planet from infestation. Impressive work. You can see we now have access to the Organa systems. They're all talking about the, uh, the ruthlessness and brutality of the recent attack. They, uh, they do train you Imperials well, don't they? Wars are not won by talking. Oh, you're right. We're going to be trying for the throne. <laughs> That's worth a little brutality. Now that we can monitor the Organa's communications, it should be possible to... Lord Thule, the base is under attack. Send aid quickly. Border outpost 2 under attack. I repeat, under attack. Perimeter defense is breached. We're under attack by assault droids. Repeat, a coordinated attack by probe and assault droids. Blood of the Queen. Sounds like you need a little Imperial support right now. Yes. Show those backbiters that the Empire stands behind House Thule. The data says all three border posts are under attack. Looks like a coordinated effort. Hunter killers and probes. All I've got out there is a skeleton crew. You're the only one close enough to reach them in time. Please, save my bases and bring me the memory cores from any probes you destroy. I want to know who's behind this. Good luck. I'll bring you the heads of those droids, and their master. Thank you. Now hurry! Burn every farmhouse. I want every traitor smoked out. Every sympathizer weeping. We'll finish this later, dismissed. Yes, my lord. Ah, welcome to Alderaan. I'm Duke Keldus of the Vibrant Thals. You've eaten, I trust? Seen the palace? Hunted some game? But that's not why you're here. I imagine the question of House Lenar's pirates has come up, and you want an answer. Naturally, I am interested to hear your version of the events. A shrewd and diplomatic answer. When House Thor returned to Alderaan, our vassal House Lenar turned on us. We had to sanction their leaders. 
But the Lenars became martyrs, and their house soldiers turned to piracy. Their attacks earned them a reputation for heroism. Heroes can die. The hope of the rabble will follow. Overconfidence was the downfall of three of my ships. We no longer attacked them at sea. I put a sizable bounty on the pirates and doubled it for the populist traitors who coordinate them from the land. Yet the people, even the starving ones, refuse to do the honorable thing and alert us to the meeting places. Then my victory will be all the more demoralizing to them. Your confidence does you credit. Our intelligence says the Lenars come ashore on the beach not far from here. No doubt they will be lying in wait for a target. The Killick Hives have been poisoned. They'll swarm soon. And the noble houses must accept their obligation to combat them, thanks to Thul leadership. In another life, you would have made a fine royal guardian of the mountains. I cannot thank you enough for your quick work. I don't know what the Organas were after, but that attack was long in the planning. It is foolishness to spread your troops so thin. We have not had outright war on Alderaan for generations. Our tactics are somewhat rusty. Who's the source of these? What were they looking for? And quickly! The programming signatures point to Lord Cedric Kilesa. Lord Kilesa is my vassal. He swore loyalty to me personally when we returned from exile. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. The parameters indicate the probes were to join an assault team in a... My lord, this program indicates an assault team massing in a tunnel between here and the Kalisa estate. I don't find any such tunnel on the blueprint. The siege tunnel! Blood of a queen! They're, they're coming through the siege tunnel! I need more specifics, not gibberish. There's an old tunnel between here and Cedric's estate. It was the escape route in ancient times in case of a siege. No one's used it in centuries, but the tunnel opens right under this room. What are we going to do? I can't wait to start killing. I would not have guessed your bloodlust would come in so handy. Moff Sarek gave us cartons of thermite explosives. They take time to set up, but they, they pack a punch. If you take them into the siege tunnel, you could collapse it on Cedric and his army. Seal the access, so they can't threaten us again. How do I get into this siege tunnel? There's an entrance to the tunnel nearby. The storeroom is in the same area. I'll recall my troops to defend the surface, but there's no doubt the real battle will be below. Thank you. So, you're the Imperial puppet who taught Jorad Thule to bite instead of bark. Does he lick your hand? Fetch your slippers? Real Alderanians will never bow to the likes of you. No one world can stand up to the might of the Empire. I would sooner see Alderaan blasted into space debris than given over to the Empire. You don't even have the guts to fight this yourself instead of hiding behind a cart and a thermite. If you had a shred of decency, you'd settle this by an honorable duel. You against me. You against me. You surprise me, Sith. I heard your kind wouldn't know of honor if they scraped it off their shoe. A duel of skill, then. If you win, I will give my house over to Jorah Thul to use as he will. If I win, you stand aside and let me cleanse Alderaan of this scourge, and tell your Imperial handlers Alderaan lives free or dies! To arms! I... concede. You have the better skill. Perhaps it is Alderaan's fate to fall to the Empire. I will tell my people, we must find a way to live through these times. Show them that sometimes there is more strength in yielding. I will tell my army to stand down. Thank you for this mercy.
The Kalejas just surrendered. My men are returning from the outpost to take them into custody. The Kalejas are acknowledging you as a man of honor. I will tell Moff Selleck of your heroism immediately. Take ten heads for every one traitor, and they will not rebel again. The Thals need not fear any further rebellion in their ranks. It would be a waste to keep one of our few Sith here any longer. General Stanul Thal is coordinating our efforts near House Ald. Speak to him if you'd like to take a further role in this conquest. You have saved my house's dream of ruling our world, and taught me much about what that will mean. I will not forget. My, my lord, a moment, please. The blasted Jedi are interfering again. They've uncovered a holocron. Normally I wouldn't lose sleep over a Jedi knickknack, but we intercepted an SIS transmission. This holocron's packed with condemning historic intel on House Thule. Crimes, barbaric acts, it, it, it could cost us Alderaan. We can't... Oh, yes, I just paid a little pass. <laughs> Is everything all right with you? Uh, oh, it, it, uh, just indigestion. Uh, need to focus on the holocron. The Jedi just started deciphering the blasted thing. Perfect timing, too, right when my stress meds run out. As we speak, Jedi are trying to crack the holocron's secrets. Only a Sith of your strength can secure it. This is a trifling matter, but I will do it. Thank you. I'm breathing easier already. <laughs> Get that holocron, then give it to Lord Erdoon, and teach those blasted Jedi a lesson. Oh, 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 oh. No, I'm alright, I'm alright, just go. Stanil Thule. I was told you want to see me. Yes, Moff Sarek said you'd be here. We've had an inspection team lost to the Killix for days now, advisors from Droman Kast. They were inspecting one of our mining sites for lanthanide deposits. But in the middle of their inspection, the entire place was overrun by Killix. We've had no communication for days. Who's that? Some other noble house? Killix are the native aliens here. Giant bugs with just enough brains to hold a blaster. Moff Sarek wants this team back. Apparently some of them hold serious rank off-world, but the rest of House Thule is balking. Attacking these Killicks would take half our army, but apparently I'm too close to the problem to strategically assess its value. You have some kind of personal stake in this? Yes. I... I don't want you to think I'm asking for personal reasons, but my daughter was leading the inspection team. I don't know if she's alive or dead. If you can find her, find our advisors, free them if they're prisoners, I promise you a reward that will leave me bankrupt. I will not let these aliens kill your daughter or the advisors. Thank you. For myself even more than for my house. <laughs>